In this video, I'll show you how to use the Casio graphing calculator to run ANOVA, starting with how to enter the data in lists. We have random samples of five students taking a five-week intensive statistics course at three different schools. The students were asked on average how many hours a week they study, and the data are in the table. We need to enter the data into lists, and then we can run ANOVA going into the stat menu and assuming that you have data in lists already click the F6 button to get to DELA and click F4 and then say F1 to clear the list. Do the same if you have any data in list 2 so that you can start fresh. Now in a Casio for ANOVA we only enter data in list 1 and list 2. List 1 will be the number of items in each sample. For example, School 1 has 5 items in the sample, School 2 has 5 and so does School 3. We're going to associate the group number or sample number. That means we're going to enter 1 5 times. Then we'll enter 2 5 times. And then we'll enter 3 5 times. In the second list, we go down the column entering the data from each school that corresponds with the sample number. We'll enter 12, and that means the first person in sample 1 had a value of 12. 15, 17, 8, and 13. Now we're on school 2, we enter 10, 13, 20, 10, and 9. And on school 3, 14, 18, 18, 16, and 14. So to recap what we just did for list 2, we entered the 5 values for school 1, then the 5 values for school 2, and then the 5 values for school 3. Now we'll run ANOVA. I'm going to click the F6 button to get back to my main screen menu, and now I'll go F3 for test and F5 for ANOVA. You can do a one-way or a two-way ANOVA in the Casio. This is a one-way ANOVA, so I will leave how many set to one. If yours is set to two, just click the F1 button and change it. Factor A is the sample numbers, samples one, two, and three. That needs to be list one for me because that's where I entered the data. If you need to change that, press the F1 button and then enter the list number where it is. Dependents, these are the actual data, the number of hours of studying that match up with the schools. Mine is list 2. And click Execute. And we have our ANOVA table. That's all there is to getting the ANOVA table once you have the data correctly entered in lists. The ANOVA output in a Casio looks quite a bit like Excel's output. The first row, labeled A for factor A, is our source of variation for between levels. And the row labeled error is our, um, that is the row that is the within for source of variation. Scrolling right, we see that we have the F test statistic of 1.5586 or 87 and a p-value of 0.2502. We ran the test at a level of significance of 5%. The p-value of 25% is greater than alpha. We failed to reject the null. That's how to run one-way ANOVA in the Casio.